Hello and thank you for watching my video. Uh, before I proceed to explain the this uh, latest updated version, most of my clients ask me uh, what application am I using for the SSH. Uh, so let me show you. This is called Moba Xterm. Uh, you just have to go to the website. This is an SSH client and uh, I use this for uh, certain reasons because it's very user friendly and it's very easy to use. All you have to do is to go to this word, uh, website and then download the home free edition and once it's downloaded you just install it and run the application and then uh, it's, once you have the uh, server uh, VPS ready and once you have the VPS ready and you are ready to connect to your server just open the mobile XTERM application and then go to this uh, bar and create a new session since I have already created many sessions and then go to this SSH and enter the IP address of your VPS and then select this username and then into root and then the uh, SSH port and here is an example as I already said it like this and once you connect then you will be asked to enter password and this only happens uh, you know this will I, the password will be asked only just once it will not be asked for every connection once you enter the password you can either copy paste the password or just enter the password or type the password directly and then you will be logged into your VPS server or dedicated server with SSH. So all you have to do is make sure that you are at the root location and you have to upload the script that I definitely that you will purchase from me and then upload that script to this root location. Make sure that you are at the root right so once you are at the root, you upload the uh, files to this uh, to your VPS, and <clears throat> once the files are uploaded, you can check by typing the ls command, ls for listing the files, and uh, it will show you the script files they have been uh, uh, uploaded. This script has three files: one is configure, second one is menu, and then third one is rotation and um, the first thing you need to do is to type the command chmod777 and then type the names of the scripts like configure menu and rotation and then it's time to configure and you'll do this dot forward slash uh, forward slash configure and hit enter and don't forget to read this it's just a sort of you can say disclaimer or the notice notification that you should not be misusing this product and once you hit enter the exact configuration will start and this is the one time configuration you don't have to repeat it every time it's just one time configuration and it will take some time depending on the RAM of your computer uh, of your VPS uh, processor of your VPS uh, and the number of cores of your VPS so uh, it takes uh, up to 15 minutes and maybe more sometimes as I told you that if you have a good CPU speed and once it's done you will be asked to enter the uh, 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 initial port for ports you know you will basically this script will create 5000 uh, ports in a, a sequence and you will have to enter the starting port so I usually use 50,000 or 30,000 it's up to you you can use any range you want but uh, I mostly recommend to use the ports about the 30,000 and then you'll be asked to enter the IPv4 address of your server and once you enter it it will create uh, 5,000 ports automatically and then you will have to wait and then you'll be told that the script is complete that's it now the configuration is done it's now time to create the proxies but before that make sure that IPv6 is configured properly on your VPS every provider has different uh, you know ways of doing it every provider and it has nothing to do with the script you will have to do it by yourself um, uh, by yourself you have to configure the IPv6 
and the gateway etc so in my case i am using the vps and it has a net plane so i will go and edit the net plane file and i will just add the dhcp you know this is the common way uh, you can google it that how to uh, add ipv6 in net plane in ubuntu 18.0 or 20. so this is uh, the uh, very this is very generic way so you must know what your uh, what uh, what your uh, ip address is and what is the prefix and what is the gateway of your ipv6 so once you have all these details you just have to enter as i'm entering right now over here you just have to configure once it's configured once it's configured the once it's configured and uh, then you will make sure that the ip address you just added is properly working with netplane apply means that you will apply the uh, settings oh sorry oops uh, i might have missed something over here uh, make sure don't even make a slight mistake even just one single space can create issues in net plan so everything must be accordingly and proper well formatted uh, according to the requirements of the net plan it's just like uh, the other uh, uh, network manager or uh, whatever you you are using so now you can see that this IP, ipv6 has been added to the interface and you just need to uh, add one uh, ipv6 and rest of the then it's up to the script the script will do it on its own but the gateway has to be configured properly so now uh, i'm just checking if i can ping the ipv6 so if i get a ping response and that i got just here the it means that the ipv6 is properly configured on this vps now we are good to go and proceed to creating the proxies with dot forward slash menu here don't forget to read this you will get this notification every time you open the script okay so first thing we need to do is to uh, go and generate the op uh, proxies with option one and it will ask you to enter the uh, a subnet you have I have a slash 64 subnet so I will uh, enter 64 and then I will uh, enter my IP IPv4 address of the server and then I will copy paste the uh, prefix of the IPv6 and then it will create the number of proxies I want to generate uh, since this is just a demonstration I am just creating for the quick um, uh, for quick uh, you know video I'm just creating 10 uh, 1000 proxies and once it's done then apply the option 9 and hit enter to apply the changes and now see when I open a browser it's asking me for username and password so I don't want to get into this username and password because I have an option in my script well it's uh, if you want to have you can definitely you can have uh, IP uh, username password authentication but I have uh, IPv, uh, IP authentication enabled as well so with option this uh, with, with this option you can you first you have to know what is your IP what's your public IP so I will go to this what is my IP address dot com and it will tell me what my IPv6 uh, what my public IP for four address is and once it's enabled uh, it's added it now I, it won't ask me for the username and password so I will just apply and remember every time you make any changes to the script or the configuration you have to you use the option apply in order to make the changes take effect now when I go to the browser now you see it's not asking me for username and password and now I am entering the proxy right over here this is the uh, IPv4 and the port uh, I can select any port from 30,000 to 30,499. So you can see when I browse the Google and I search for what's my IP, it gives me uh, IPv6. And when I, on the same browser with the same port, I create another uh, request. It means I access another website and each or at each request you see the IPv6 is changing 
right the ipv6 is changing you will see different ipv6 on each request each new http request or each new uh, http um, uh, client request so this means that the proxy uh, proxies are working just fine proxies are working and now it is time to you know uh, enable the auto rotate so that the proxies will be auto generated after a certain period of time don't forget to read everything in detail because most of the most of times my clients say that proxies are no, not running proxies is proxies are down and etc etc the reason is that they don't follow my recommendations i have used this server i have used this script on my server and i have successfully created 5000 proxies without any problem on a server with 4 GB of RAM and with uh, two cores of processor but I don't recommend I don't recommend uh, to run more than 1000 proxies on this configuration if you want to run um, if you if you want to run more so uh, if you want run to run more you will have to have more specific, more a uh, huge uh, ram and more codes so uh, i recommend to turn this uh, script on for one hour and uh, after every hour the proxies will be generated make sure you just notice that if you want to see how to uh, if you want to see and make sure that the ips are auto rotating you just have to type the command ipa and you will see at the bottom these IPs IPv6 just note them down and see after one hour those IPs will be automatically changed if those are changed that means the auto rotation is working properly after every one hour you will actually get new proxies and when I uh, when I search for the proxies when I you, you will see that the proxies will IP, IPv6 addresses will change on the browsers as well as you can see okay you can see over here okay the IPv IP has changed why because at the back end the proxies have been auto rotated and they have been they are changed to the to new IPv6 addresses so this is it this is how the proxies are uh, rotated automatically after every one hour so uh, there are then other options you you can go through like you know display all the users first you have to create the users uh, sorry uh, I forgot that you have to create the users after you uh, generate the proxies you have to create the users and with option create user you can go and with option 11 you can create as many users as you want depending on the number of your clients so um, if you want them to use user authentication otherwise you can have their public IPs and use uh, IP enabled uh, you know IP authentication as well it's up to you so uh, um, um, you should also note note that uh, every time you create users every time you make any change don't forget to uh, apply the uh, changes with option uh, 9 apply the changes so once the users are done now you can actually display them um, display all the users and then you have uh, another option like de delete the uh, IP interfaces interface from IPs from interface if you want to delete the IP from the interface you can do that that's not uh, required by the way and you have the reset proxies you can reset the proxy to the default and you can uh, set the expiry with this expiry option and for example I want to set expiry for user 1 and 4 uh, I just hit uh, I just type 1 comma 4 and then it asks me to enter the expiry date that I, I have properly mentioned that first you have to enter the year 2022 and the, for example I want the prox uh, I want this, uh, this user these two users to expire or auto delete uh, at 4 March uh, 28 April 2022 at 12 o'clock so I just enter the time like this and don't forget that it uh, takes the time in 24 hours so uh, 1 p.m. is not 01 p.m. no you will enter the 1300 
so 1 p.m. is 1300 24 hours time it accepts so once it's done then you can extend the expiry if you want and you can also see the uh, expiry you know, dates of the uh, users with option with option 7 uh, you, you it will show you that this user expires at this date and blah 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 so that's it there uh, these are the these are the options and then there comes the important option uh, if you want to create the, you know uh, display the users you can see that these are the users and these are their passwords if you don't know the user passwords i mean if you want to delete any user you can just copy paste and the user will be deleted right and the same way finally at the end there is this feature you can actually create uh, the uh, proxies dot text file to share the uh, you know uh, share the uh, proxies in format of IP port username and password with your clients so to do that uh, you just have to use the option uh, <coughs> you also you, you just have to use the option uh, to uh, create the proxies dot text file and then you will actually be able to create the files now I mean, you also have this option to uh, create new ports as well when you are out of ports and there are no ports uh, anymore available you can create the ports with this new port uh, generate new ports so here you will actually um, You, uh, you will be asked to enter the username right you can copy paste the username and then how many ports or proxies you want to assign to this user you will just enter the number and then it will generate a proxy at the root you will see as you see you can see you can either copy paste this or directly download the file and just share that downloaded file with your user it has the IP port username and password so uh, that's it this is how you can use this uh, uh, updated script and that uh, actually rotates the proxies automatically and don't forget to you know uh, I strongly recommend to use every option properly I have the directions I have given the I have tried to explain everything in detail if you want to contact me you can contact me via discord and Gmail also subscribe to this channel thank you very much